passionate about Ixu, which I care so I care a lot about, and you have a tremendous intuition. So she laid out the terms, and amongst the terms were, you will speak here on this day. So here I am. Um, and I don't, I genuinely don't have much. Uh, I could, I'm going to try and give you something, but I don't know what. There's a, a Chinese proverb which says, the higher the monkey climbs the tree, the more you see of its ass. <laughs> and that's particularly, someone like, you know, I dash around the world looking, trying to build shops. Um, and Pret is a big company. We do, we have hundreds and hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of stores. Um, so I have to be very careful about preaching about anything, let alone design. Um, so the purpose of tonight is, is design important. Is that right? And are you important in the world? Yes. Uh, so I must try and give you something. Um, and, and clearly design is unbelievably important and I think very undervalued. And I think uh, design in restaurants, design in anything. I think it's incredibly important. And therefore I think for each and every one of you here who's involved with design, I think it's important that you have the strength to put your foot down and, and again and again come back to your clients and say, this is really important, I really believe in it. Because honestly, I was with someone yesterday, um, amazing guy who runs a company called Le Pain Quotidien, which many of you probably know. That, that company was started and is kind of owned by this mad Belgian guy. Completely mad, I've met him a couple of times, he's inspirational. And what he's trying to do with that thing, he, he believes it's a farmhouse. What he wanted to create when he opened the first one in Belgium was like a farmhouse. And again and again around the world, they have like 160 places, this guy. Um, and many people don't understand it. And yesterday at lunch, sitting outside on the Marlborough High Street, this guy was pouring his heart out to me because only the founder, only this bloke seems to understand what his farmhouse vision is really about. And the previous, the management here, they wanted to do this and they wanted to do that. And this guy arrives, he flies in from Belgium, he flies in from Moscow, and he is as confident, he knows exactly what his vision is. And that, that is um, the rare, that, that vision, you know, if you've got a vision for something as a designer, many of you are in the creative business, I really do think it's important to stick with it. And, and I know clients can be very difficult. Um, and Afi here has, I'm sure she finds me very difficult. Um, but it is really important uh, to, to, to stick with it. And um, I was thinking today on the way here, who, if we look at, in my business, in the food business, great design. Um, there are quite a good a number of examples of really tremendous, tremendous design. Um, Wagamama, I think, is a good, not, not so much, but early Wagamama, early, 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 David Collins' work. I think David Collins, many of you probably know the work of David Collins. David Collins is a genius, I think. Um, and I have to be careful what I say here, but even uh, people who are paying people like David Collins large sums of money uh, will continuously, again and again and again, challenge him, and challenge him, and challenge him, for, for, in my opinion, all the wrong reasons. In other words, why on earth would you get Picasso or Chopin, Chopin or anyone to design for you and then not listen to them? So again, I come back to that thing of, of sticking with your vision. If you are in any way in the creative business here, just, just stick with it, just push through. Get the client to understand. And if the client doesn't understand, find another way. You've got to find another way until they do understand what it is you as the creative person wants to do. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that in front of you. Um, okay, so, so, no, you're not. Um, yeah, so the design of pret manger yeah, that's quite an obvious one. Um, okay, the truth of the design of pret manger is this. Uh, when I opened the first shop, I had absolutely no money, and I didn't want to be rebuilding it uh, six months later. So the only thing I could think of was to do it in steel and aluminium. It's not chrome, it's actually stainless steel sheets. So I rented a lorry, a van, and I drove and I bought many, many, many sheets. They were £11 each. And at the time, do you know, it was the cheapest possible way of building the store. 